Hi there, it's Melanie Young with Keller Williams Premier Properties and the Kingsland Group. We're excited to show you today 851 Pine Grove Court in Wheaton, a new listing, first floor master, first floor living townhome in Wheaton, Illinois. Come on in, take a look. So as we come in from the front door, you'll see hardwood floors throughout the first floor, and so much has been redone in this home. It is ready to move in. Up here on the left, you have a first floor office. This is not counted in the three bedroom count of this home. This first floor office has double glass doors and built-in shelving, white cabinetry there. Some more great shelving with a bay window. To your right as you come in is the door to the garage. This is one of those homes where the owner has thought of everything. It has a central vacuum system. I love the nice high ceilings in this garage. Insulated garage door. These were quality built townhomes by Roger Lautz. There's the central vac unit. And to the left, as you pass the den, you'll see uh, the powder room here. It has a beautiful pedestal sink with a newer faucet and framed mirror that's actually a medicine cabinet when you open it up newer toilet beautiful white trim work this door goes to the finished basement we'll show you that a little bit later and then colonial detailed full wooden stairs going to the second floor there are can lighting there's can lighting in the hallway and to the right here, you see a front hall closet with double doors. And this to die for gourmet kitchen here. It's an Eden kitchen that is open to the living room and dining room areas. Big, big space. This kitchen was redone in 2017. These are high quality cabinets, quiet closed drawers, You've got a pantry cabinet over there. And then I love this feature. You see the French door fridge. All the appliances are stainless. But this cabinet here to the left of the fridge is like a pull-out pantry as well. Great place to put those cans, easy to reach to the back. This pantry cabinet has pull-out shelving as well. You'll notice big drawers under the five burner gas Bosch cooktop. Look at that. Nice place to put your pans. Under cabinet lights, a beautiful tile backsplash, some more glass cabinet fronts. Another huge drawer. This is a great place to put a dinette space. That door leads to the outside patio. We'll see that in a moment. You've got a pull-out waste recycle bin in that cabinet left of the kitchen sink. There's a reverse osmosis type water filter faucet, an e-granite Blanco sink. I have an e-granite sink in my house. I love it. It does not show water stains, but is also uh, very durable. And then you've got a push button garbage disposal. Very fancy. 30 inch double oven. There, and crown molding at the top, plus lots and lots of can lighting. This large family room has two deep windows. Very large, brings in lots of light. A beautiful fireplace with a ceramic gas log. lights over the fireplace, crown molding. It's another view of the large great room, space for a large dining table, the under counter breakfast stool area, kitchen with the dinette area. Just a lot of great space here. And then this direction, there's a closet 
which also serves as first floor laundry facility. So you could put a stackable laundry. And in this direction is the first floor master suite. Come on in. Again, nice large windows, ceiling fan. And then the master bath was updated in 2018. So you'll see a new vanity, which is beautiful, granite tops, undermount sinks, separate faucets, framed mirrors, new lighting. And then as you come this direction, look at this wonderful shower with a tile inset, a seat, can lighting. And there's a couple neat things in here. To the left, there's kind of a dressing area, so it can act as a dresser. This would be a great spot to um, do your makeup or hair, or I thought maybe a great place to put your Keurig coffee maker so you have something first thing in the morning. And then this direction to the left has a walk-in closet that they upgraded the shelving to a nice high-end laminate closet shelving organizer system. So on the second floor here, there's some great spaces as well. Right at the top of the stairs, there's this nice loft area. So it gets lots of sunshine with a south facing window. And there's really such a great space. My previous owner said she loved to read and study up here was just such a sunny, nice area. And then there's two big bedrooms up here. This one has, um, double pocket doors. It's a very good size room. And both of the bedrooms up here have walk-in closets. Lots of shelving, ceiling fans. And then off the hallway is a full hall bath, tiled floor white vanity, tile, surround tub area, and a linen closet back this direction. And there is a third full bedroom up here, big, generous size again, easy to fit a king bed or some bunk beds, depending on what you want to put in here. This is a surprise room. I'll show you this in a moment. Ceiling fan, walk-in closet again, lots and lots of space. And then this room back here is just some extra storage. It's an attic area, but a walk-in space, great for storing those suitcases, Christmas decorations or hiding and locking presents. Let's go take a look out on the brick patio. There's lots of great outside space here. Storm screen door there. But look at this large brick patio. Eastern exposure here. Lots of beautiful landscaping. The trees are budding. Those will be full leaves soon. There is lawn irrigation here. Lots of room for a table, chairs, grill, and there is a whole house generator included. The roofs were just done within the last five years. Also, the furnace and air conditioner were also just recently done within the last five years. They just finished doing some landscaping work back here but the outside maintenance and snow removal is maintained by the association. Such a beautiful space. So we're coming down the basement here. The basement features so many neat things. First of all, this, there's great finished room. Fresh carpet put in. This basement has been super dry. They just had a vinyl floor down here, so uh, there's some nice new carpet. It's very cushy in here. Lots of closet space. 
That one to the right is the sump pump closet area. This to the left is a cedar closet here with some shelving. And this closet here has some additional great storage space in here. Ooh. Lots and lots of storage. And then there is a full bathroom down here. The full bathroom features a new wood looking vinyl floor, a shower with tile surround, a little vanity, this framed mirror. And then I just love this room in here. So much great space to work, wrap presents, do some storage there. That closet houses the um, generator system, wiring as well as the circuit breaker box, etc., and central vacuum bin as well. You could do a full size washer dryer down here, although again, there's room upstairs for the stackable laundry system. Utility sink, place to hang your clothes. And we're going to go check out this room back here. A lot of the home has these updated oil rub bronze handles. This is a great place for more storage. Again, super, super dry, shelving, great place for a workbench with some electrical, and then newer furnace. There, 